Europe is way ahead of North America in rebuilding wildlife corridors uh, using the abandoned farmland that's turning up all over. And so as the oryx comes back, it will repopulate uh, these wildlands and make them more biodiverse by opening them up with uh, species-rich meadows. Now, Sergei Zimov is probably the biggest ecosystem revivalist there is out there. Um, in northern Siberia, uh, he is working with the realization that the largest biome in the world used to be what was called the mammoth steppe, reaching all the way around the poles, where there's a lot of land. And it's now mostly boreal forest and, uh, and tundra, but back in the day, it was grassland kept that way by mammoths and by other large herbivores. So Sergei is bringing large herbivores to this place he calls Pleistocene Park, 93 square miles. They're fenced, where he is restoring the original density, somewhat like Africa, of these large animals. And they are treading the tundra down, turning it into grassland, uh, likewise the forest. He began it in 1988, and it's well along. You see the wild Yakutian horses in the background there, musk oxes in the foreground, reindeer and bison are being added. He wants some American buffalo. That would be good. And he says he would uh, gladly populate Pleistocene Park with uh, woolly mammoths as soon as they're available. Uh, <laughs> as he said recently, to fight the forest instead of mammoths, we now use military tanks. Uh, unfortunately, they don't create dung. <laughs> uh, National Geographic illustrated what the uh, place to scene park will look like once it's a safari goal. Uh, just this morning, I got an email from Sergey. Uh, he's buying land south of uh, Moscow. He's going to start a more, he already is starting a more accessible place to scene park. Um, and it's already starting to fence it and inhabit it with these creatures. And that one will be easier for us and everybody else to visit. Um, part of what he wrote me today is, he says, part of all required animals I have found within Russia, but some will have to be taken from abroad. Aurochs, bison, mouflons, red deer, all these animals lived on this territory in Pleistocene. Also mammoths, hyenas, cave lions, cave bears, cave humans. So by the end of that private meeting at National Geographic, the scientists 